When people think of nuclear power, the first thing that comes to their mind is disasters, such as the 1986 Chernobyl nuclear accident and the 2011 Fukushima nuclear meltdown. While these events had significant impacts, nuclear power's bad reputation may be overblown. Is nuclear power really that bad? Let's explore it. Nuclear power is a form of energy derived from the controlled reaction of atomic nuclei, primarily through processes like nuclear fission or fusion. The history of nuclear power is a fascinating journey marked by scientific discoveries, technological advancements, and a complex interplay of geopolitical factors. The first significant milestone in the history of nuclear power was a successful demonstration of controlled nuclear fission by German scientists Otto Hahn and Fritz Straussmann in 1938. This discovery, combined with the theoretical insights of Lise Meitner and Otto Frisch, paved the way for harnessing the immense energy released during nuclear reactions. The onset of World War II accelerated research into nuclear technology, with the Manhattan Project in the United States being the most prominent example. Led by scientists like Robert Oppenheimer, the project aimed to develop atomic weapons. The successful test of the first atomic bomb in 1945 at the Trinity test site marked a turning point not only in military history, but also in the potential application of nuclear technology for peaceful purposes. The only time in history nuclear technology was used for wartime purposes was in August 1945, when two atomic bombs were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan, ending World War II. The post-war era saw the dawn of the civilian use of nuclear power. In 1954, the world's first nuclear power plant in the Soviet Union began producing electricity for the grid. Subsequently, the United States launched the first commercial nuclear power plant, Shipping Port Atomic Power Station, in 1958. These early ventures set the stage for the global expansion of nuclear energy to meet growing electricity demands. Through the 1960s, 1970s, and 1980s, more nuclear power plants were built. But in 1986, the Chernobyl nuclear accident exposed some of the dangers. At the time, it was the worst nuclear disaster caused by an accident. Considerable amounts of radiation made employees and the public living in the surrounding area sick, leading to many deaths in the short term and long term. The Chernobyl nuclear accident was also linked to the collapse of the Soviet Union four years later. Since then, nuclear power has been heavily debated on its safety. In fact, many nuclear power plants in the United States are being decommissioned in favor of more renewable energy options such as solar and wind power. Even though renewable power is clean and environmentally friendly, is it the whole answer to our energy needs? Or can nuclear power play a key role in powerful, clean, and safe energy? Let's start by talking about the current geography of nuclear energy. As of 2024, approximately 10% of the world is powered by nuclear energy, accounting for around 800 million people. The United States has the most nuclear power plants of any nation, with 54 operating and only one being constructed in Georgia. But many others in recent years have been decommissioned. In New York, Indian Point Energy Center, 35 miles north of New York City, ceased operations in 2021, while in New Jersey, Oyster Creek Nuclear Power Plant in Lacey Township was shut down in 2018. Over 18% of all U.S. energy still comes from nuclear power, however, this will likely decrease as more states transition to other energy sources. Internationally, France has the highest percentage of its electricity coming from nuclear power, at 62.9%, while two other European nations, Slovakia and Ukraine, receive over 50% of their power from it. After experiencing energy insecurity during the 1970s oil crisis, France sought to reduce its dependence on foreign energy sources. Nuclear power offered a way to diversify its energy mix and achieve greater energy independence. Also, France is one of the few nations that utilizes nuclear fuel reprocessing, which involves extracting usable materials from spent nuclear fuel to produce new fuel, which technically makes this method renewable. Other European nations have nuclear power plants, including Belgium, Switzerland and Spain, which get 46.4%, 36.4%, and 20.3% of their power from it, respectively. However, 
these three nations plan to phase out nuclear energy in the future. In Asia, Pakistan receives the most power from nuclear energy, around 16%, while Taiwan, Japan, and China get between 5 and 10% from it. In other developing and industrializing regions, such as South America and Africa, nuclear power is very limited, but projects are planned or are being constructed in nations such as Egypt, South Africa, Brazil, and Argentina. So, what's good and bad about nuclear power? Let's start with the negatives. The first and most concerning negative is a nuclear accident. These accidents are ranked on the International Nuclear Event Scale, which numerically goes from 0 to 7, 0 being just a slight deviation, to 7 being a major accident. Since the beginning of using nuclear power, there have only been two Level 7 accidents, the Chernobyl accident in the USSR in 1986 and the Fukushima accident in Japan in 2011. On April 26, 1986, the Chernobyl accident occurred during a late-night safety test on Reactor 4 of the Chernobyl plant. The test was intended to simulate a power outage and the procedures required to maintain cooling of the reactor core until backup electrical power could be restored. During the safety test, operators violated safety protocols and disabled critical safety systems, including the automatic control system. The reactor power dropped unexpectedly, and attempts to restore power led to a critical excursion. A sudden violent explosion occurred, destroying the reactor building and releasing a significant number of radioactive materials into the atmosphere. The initial response to the accident was poor and led to many environmental and health problems. The Chernobyl disaster highlighted the importance of stringent safety measures, transparency, and international cooperation in the operation of nuclear power plants. Nearly 25 years later, on March 11, 2011, a major earthquake struck off the coast of northeastern Japan, triggering a tsunami which hit the coast in a matter of minutes. This tsunami disabled the power supply and backup generators at the Fukushima nuclear power plant, leading to a loss of electrical power needed to cool the reactors and maintain the cooling of spent fuel pools. The loss of cooling led to the overheating and partial meltdown of three reactors. Additionally, hydrogen gas produced by chemical reactions in the reactor buildings led to explosions in the outer buildings housing the reactor containment structures. A significant evacuation was ordered for residents within a 20-kilometer radius of the plant. Although Fukushima was classified as a Level 7 disaster, there is more disaster preparedness measures in place thanks to stringent regulations put in place by the Japanese government. In the United States, the worst nuclear disaster ever to occur was the Three Mile Island nuclear power plant disaster in Pennsylvania in 1979. The incident began with a cooling malfunction in the second reactor. A valve in the primary coolant system became stuck in the open position, causing a loss of coolant. As a result of the coolant loss, the reactor's core overheated and a partial meltdown of the nuclear fuel occurred. The reactor's operators were unaware of the severity of the situation at first. Ultimately, the situation was contained and a state of emergency was issued for the area along with the 20-mile evacuation zone. Another concern in nuclear power is radioactive waste. Nuclear power produces radioactive waste that remains hazardous for thousands of years. The long-term storage and disposal of nuclear waste presents significant technical and ethical challenges. One possible place the waste can be stored is in Yucca Mountain in Nevada. This mountain is seen as a possible repository for nuclear waste since it's in a remote area and the waste can be stored deep inside the mountain. Right now, no waste is currently being contained there, and most nuclear waste is kept at nuclear power plants such as spent fuel pools or dry cast storage systems. An economic negative of nuclear power is the high initial cost of construction. The construction of nuclear power plants requires a substantial initial investment. The costs associated with building, maintaining, and decommissioning nuclear facilities can be higher than those of some other energy sources. And a geopolitical negative of nuclear power is nuclear proliferation. The spread of nuclear technology raises concerns about the potential for nuclear weapons creation. The same technologies used for peaceful energy generation can potentially be used for development of nuclear weapons, 
which is possibly occurring in nations such as Iran and North Korea. While there are concerns with nuclear power, there are lots of positive attributes. One major one is its low emissions. Nuclear power plants produce electricity with minimal greenhouse gas emissions, making them a relatively low carbon option compared to fossil fuels. The only byproduct from nuclear power plant cooling towers is water vapor. Related to this, nuclear power plants are relatively small and compact. Therefore, in the environment they're constructed on, they have a small carbon footprint. In fact, nuclear power plants have less of a carbon footprint, especially ecologically, than a renewable hydroelectric power plant. And nuclear energy has a high energy density, meaning that a small amount of nuclear fuel from something like uranium can produce a large amount of electricity. This results in a more efficient use of resources. In terms of power production, nuclear energy can provide a constant and stable source of electricity without the pollution generated by fossil fuel sources such as coal, oil, and natural gas, and without the limitations of renewable energy sources such as wind and solar, which can be restricted by nature. Now that we compare the positives and negatives of nuclear energy, is it really as bad as they say? The simple answer is no. Being that we're 24 years into the 21st century, the technology and safety measures of nuclear power production have changed during the early days. For example, every nuclear power plant in the United States and other developed countries have safety protocols put in place to prevent a nuclear accident. Also, nuclear power plants are subject to strict regulations imposed by national and international regulatory authorities. Regulatory agencies conduct regular inspections, audits, and assessments to ensure compliance with safety standards. The probability of a large-scale nuclear accident is extremely low. But when a nuclear disaster happens, it makes headlines since the dangers can be high, especially with the Level 7 meltdown. A comparable example is airplane travel. Although on average, air travel is considerably safer than travel by automobile, an airplane crash typically is deadly if it happens. Take a look at this graph of the number of accidental and air pollution related deaths from the select power sources per terawatt hour of electricity. Brown coal, known as lignite coal, has the highest impurities of any coal, creating massive amounts of pollution and also contributing to nearly 33 deaths per terawatt hour. Bituminous coal and anthracite coal with less impurities contribute to 24.6 deaths per terawatt hour. But look at nuclear power. It contributes to only 0.03 deaths per terawatt hour, even being safer than renewable energy sources such as wind power and hydroelectricity. With statistics like this, nuclear power doesn't seem so bad after all. After looking at all the possible energy sources for the future, nuclear power looks like a viable option. It's clean, safe, powerful, efficient, and reliable. Convincing the public that nuclear power is beneficial may be a hard sell to many. The hard sell is pretty much linked to how much time was spent talking about extremely rare but catastrophic nuclear accidents in this video. And the rareness of these events will become fewer and possibly non-existent as nuclear energy science continues its technological progression. What do you think of nuclear power? I'd love to hear your opinion of it, so please leave a comment in the comment section below. That's the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you like learning about geography and earth science, please subscribe to my channel, Our World, Our Planet, Our Home. Until next time!